Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Eradicator coming up with some latest news here. The latest news regarding Star Citizen FR 3.70.2. There is a hotfix, a hotfix that is uh, coming in, and it's something that we've seen coming for quite some time because it's been in the PTU for well over two weeks now. I was always been wondering why was there yet another patch in the PTU, and Jake Acapella was kind enough to give us some explanation on Spectrum with a pretty lengthy post. Actually, he says, "Hey everyone, during the post launch." period of Alpha 3.70.2, we identified several issues with how in-game transactions are both made and completed thanks to the enthusiastic expenditures players made at the start of the patch cycle. Now, if you remember, uh, there was a little error here, and a lot of us were given millions of Alpha UEC that unfortunately we should not have had. Uh, this was um, definitely a mistake, but some people were smart enough to buy a lot of things with that money that they shouldn't have had anyway. Apparently, this has caused some issues issues, and that's what they are saying here. Also, he says, the high amount of player activity at launch alongside the Siege of Origin event was a perfect recipe to rile up our backend, so um, this was to be expected every time there is a new patch, and especially those events, players are excited, plus, you know, 100 players per server, there was definitely a lot of hype around that release of 317.2. For those who really want to see under the hood, uh, here is what's going to happen here, what's happening. So to try to avoid any major in-game outage during peak currency and keep some of the old legacy system available, they had to favor availability over durability by accelerating the rights to SPS, so those SP, SP, uh, uh, SPC is actually the super cache, and uh, allowing a lag between the super cache and the game state that are best to build. So that's interesting, and this definitely is something that uh, that was noticeable during uh, during those events. Uh, I was really wondering why was th there was this uh, this latency, and that's because uh, basically that was made on purpose so that uh, eventually uh, the game would not be broken due to the high amount of traffic. This came at the degradation of data consistency and durability, especially dr considering the super cache was wasn't built to work in these conditions. As a part of the collateral damage, some of the records committed to long-term persistence became inconsistent over time, but we believe the issue affected a random minority of character long persistent record. As far as I'm concerned, and I was I guess I was lucky, but I have not had any of those issues. That said, he says, the state in which these complex caching systems got into uh, got into allowed us, allowed them, to focus on analyzing some of the data patterns of where bottlenecks occur. This knowledge is already being reused in stress testing scenarios for persistent entity streaming, which is coming, by the way, in 3.18. So what happened here in 3.17.2 is useful for them. They collected the data and they're doing the tests for 3.18 to avoid this from happening. That is already one. Wonderful. They also say here, Jack says that they received an immense amount of issue console reports for uh, these issues as well. And he thanks us, by the way, for sending all of those reports. As a result, they have been uh, steadily deploying f fixes for those issues over the past few weeks in the PTU, which is uh, something that we reported a little bit about on the channel as well. And they say that they are now prepared to roll out some of those fixes into the live servers uh, with even more fixes coming uh, over the next major update, which is 3.18. The short-term goal is to make sure that the super cache service doesn't enter this state again until those larger fixes are deployed in 3.18. So that's what they are trying to be doing here. They are hoping that people would no longer lose their money, for example. Now, there's going to be a side effect, unfortunately, a little uh, issue here, and that is going to be uh, some slight loss of player progress. In this case, basically, all characters are going to be reset. It doesn't mean that we'll be losing everything. For example, if you bought a shipping game or some armor, you are going to be uh, keeping those, but all types of consumables, like, uh, for example, med pans or drinks, will be lost as well as normally, that's how it always is, some uh, cargo that will be in your ship or some refined materials at the refineries. So there we have it, guys. We know what is going on here with 3.18 and why it was in the PTU, but let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Uh, were, are you still playing 3.17.2? I, I, I said 3.18. 3.17.2. Are you still playing 3.17.2? What do you do in 3.17.2? As far as I'm concerned, I just discovered uh, racing with a, with, a, with, a, with a dragonfly. I think it's really fun, actually. Uh, at the snake pit, which is what you are seeing here in the B-roll footage. And uh, I'm going to try to have some kind of event in September, so feel free to be joining us as well in our Discord channel. I'll talk about it in a, in a short, uh, in, a, in a minute. So if you answer this question and subscribe to the channel, you can get to win a Centurion with LTI. And if you join our Discord channel, 
feel free to be joining our video sharing contest where this can get you to win two more centurions with LTI or you can also be a Patreon or a YouTube job member, uh, job member. Guys, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for more content on the channel. This is the Radigator. Shout out to Captain Steak, Geek Citizen, Eric, all the DJ Dunn, and Dr. Robin. I will see you guys later.